Just the other week, the hockey news wheel was barely turning. I think a cog may have even broke. But all of that changed when Peter Holland decided to announce his return to hockey as he signed a PTO, a professional tryout, with the Colorado Avalanche, thus signaling the start of the PTO season. Peter Holland, 85 points in 266 NHL games, last played professionally in 21-22 in the Swedish League after a couple of good years in the KHL and after being a guest host on TSN Radio. He'll probably find Colorado a tough team to make, but center depth is center depth when you're a good team that'll be hungry for a deep run after a surprising first round exit, so we'll see how it goes. Next names up, Brandon Sutter and Sam Gagne are heading back to Edmonton on PTOs. If Sam can make it through from here, it'll be his third time coming back to Edmonton after being drafted in 07. I honestly kind of imagined him returning to the young Detroit team, but anyway. I can't sit here and tell you to your face that I watched a lot of him on the Jets last year, but in 40 games. He had 14 points and was negative four, which, I mean, kind of what you'd expect. The Canes have quite a few guys trying out, as anyone with a grade 10 can see they're going to be good. They've got Nathan Beaulieu, Nick Shore, Corey Conacher, Brandon Perlini, all on PTOs. None of those are tremendous options, but just like the teams before, it's not uncommon for a veteran to get a shot over a youngster on a cup favorite team, and I assume that someone in the Carolina organization has at least their grade 11. The Bruins have a couple of guys that I actually feel could make the team. Alex Chason and Sweet Bruin Golden Boy Danton Heinen now coming back a man at 28 to try out for the team who drafted him. I could definitely see him hanging on with the Bears because of his speed. If he's still got fuel in those old rocket boots, then maybe he can stick with the squad. And you might be thinking that no one on a PTO is going to get a deal, but especially for veterans, every year if you make it. Eric Stahl started on a PTO last year before going on a cup run with the Panthers. Daniel Sprong was invited back to Seattle on a PTO last year and played himself onto a $2 million deal in Detroit this offseason. The Leafs signed Zach Aston Reese, the Canes signed Calvin DeHaan, and Ottawa signed one of my old favorite Rangers, Derek Broussard, last all from PTOs. So there is hope out there, but not everyone makes it. Some other notable ones that might happen is Scott Harrington and Zach Cassian, both with the Ducks. I mean, it's the Ducks. Zach's going to make it for sure. If Anaheim is going with the same strategy as last year, the tank is in full force. Those two guys might be exactly what they need to secure a first overall pick. Do you have any faith in any of these fellas to make it, or are they all already dust? Let us know below.